Hey everyone, Ken McKee here with Canopy Mortgage. It is Friday, March the 4th, 2022. Wanted to share a, uh, a real life scenario that, that I discussed with a client this week. Um, client was buying or wanting to buy a $650,000 house. They were currently renting and their rent was right at $2,200 a month. And um, when I showed them what the payment was going to be um, on the principal, interest, taxes, insurance, everything on the new one, it was going to be around $3,500. A month putting 20 percent down and right away they kind of froze up and they're like no i'm not going to do it uh and th this is the the interesting part the the person said i think we have we're going to take that money we're going to put in the down for the down payment we're going to give it to a financial planner see if we can make it grow and i said hold on you don't want to do that i'm not a financial planner i play one on tv and i kind of walked them through how they're putting that money at risk if they're going to make a lot of money and there's no way to keep up with inflation and the rising cost of homes and so Let's use that for your benefit, not against you. So what I showed them was, you know, their cash flow over nine years of not owning a home. You know, their rents is, is the purple line here. And it goes up a little bit every year based on the zip code that, I, that we were looking at and the forecasted and historical uh, rent increase. I'm showing right now 4.2% of rent increase. Last year in the Sacramento area, it was actually 17%. So I'm just using 4.2%. And I showed them, hey, look, your payment's going to be higher. So your, your cash flow, your strict cash flow over the course of, of nine years, you're going to be 102,000, 103,000 worse in cash flow, meaning you're going to pay out more, $103,000 over nine years more by buying than renting. However, they're actually going to pay down $104,000 of principal. So every, every month when you make your payment, you're paying down a little bit. Um, of the principal balance. And really what that is, is a forced savings account. So you're taking that money and you're moving it from like your savings account into your, a savings account that's in your home, right? And you get it when you sell your home. So you're paying down that amount of principal, but also look at this, just based on the forecasted appreciation. And I think the zip code I looked at was like 95677 in Rockland. And looking at that, the forecast of appreciation at over five or nine years is $512,000. So between the amortization that they're going to pay down, the appreciation they're going to get, minus the cash flow loss, because they're going to pay more every month, and minus the cost of selling their home, because there's a cost when you sell your home around 5%. And so the bottom line is they still have a net gain of $454,000 by owning a home over nine years. And you can see the breakdown here. So if, you, if you're if you wondering if this is the right time to buy or should you continue renting, or if you have a client or a friend or a family member who's wondering, I would love to work up one of these scenarios specific to the person that you know. And this helps a lot of times, helps, make, um, helps someone realize that, wow, I'm really missing out by renting. Um, and these numbers, again, are super conservative when I'm looking at the rent. Uh, rent increases are a lot more than 4.2%. So uh, call me, 916-871-7578. We'll put together a custom one just for you or your friend. Take care. Bye.